in this video we are going to learn how we can create this kind of off canvas beautiful menu off canvas menu very easily using elementor or elementor pro you can see this one is very very beautiful off canvas menu and if you open that and if you check this on mobile view this is looking amazing so this is uh, basically um, responsive off canvas menu uh, you can easily create this kind of or more than this you know, beautiful uh, off canvas menu after this watching this video so please follow the steps and subscribe my channel for creating off canvas menu uh, you need to make sure you have installed elementor pro so if you have elementor pro you can easily create the off canvas menu okay so let's really get started first of all you need to go here templates and click on add new so we are going to add basically a pop-up and this pop-up we will set as the off canvas menu here you need to select the pop-up here you need to select the pop-up and i name it a uh, canvas uh, menu you can name it anything that you like and I just click on create template you will see this kind of pop-up you need to cut this off because we don't need that okay and here is the this one just cut this off click on settings and we need to adjust uh, you need to select all the you know uh, the width of the you know of canvas so for now i need the off canvas menu in the full width okay so we make it um full width units fit to screen and uh, if fit to screen mean the whole screen will be covered okay and the content position uh, i select the center you can make it top or uh, bottom as uh, depending upon your requirement and horizontal you know horizontally you can see this will be on the left and if we decrease the size of the you know canvas menu uh, we can do that easily you can see this one is the size of uh, the menu that we need so you can adjust the size according to your needs okay so for example this one so for now i need uh, so i need it um, 1280 because we need it into the full width okay so layout we have set fit to screen and center and uh, it should be in the center vertically should be this one okay so the close button should show because this one is the close button and uh, entrance effect you can see fade in fade up or anything zooming um, i mean when the this menu will appear which zooming effect will be here okay so scroll down and here you can go to styles and in the style you can see the close button is here so close button should be inside or outside so if you select outside it will be outside and if you select inside it will be inside so vertical position you can see this can be drop and dra drag and drop here and if you select size you can see uh, it is size is increased okay so horizontal position you can see we can make it like that if we need it in left for now we need it in the left okay so we make it like that so this one is inside and we decrease the size a bit and make the color more black uh, because we need it in the black okay now we go on the pop-up style and the background for now the background need is uh, white or off-white you can select any any color but for now i need it off-white okay now i want to add some items into this pop-up so i just click here and and add these two sections uh, like i need two sections into the off canvas menu now uh, i add a heading here for example heading one and here is the heading of uh, the of canvas menu items for example so this one is the one item so i just name it home and uh, the second item i just duplicate it and home i just link the uh, my my first you know link for example so this one is the home and second one for example is the about us and uh, just the third one is the um, contact us 
and uh, the fourth one is um, we say booking okay any any these are my menu items so in the bookings I just add a link because we don't need no, have a link for now okay so if we want to make all these central so you can just click here and click on in style and here and, and sorry in the layout you can just make it central so these are central aligned you can just um, do that and this is a very basic trick okay so here um, if you click here and uh, you can see this content width is the box so if I make it full width so it's now full width okay so this is full width and if you click here and uh, I just make it um, padding should be zero percent because we need don't need any padding here and here on the second column I just make uh, you know a background image here so I just select a background image here because uh, we want to add a background image on the on the right side and let's see is the is, is this okay okay just one I just <laughs> select this one and the background image should be Norbit and display size should be cover and this is now cover and um, this position should be center center this one is center and if I click on the roll and this this uh, container we make it uh, the height uh, we make the height should be minimum uh, oh, you can say and the pixel sorry here is the size okay this one is okay and if you click here and we make the elements horizontally line center so this is looking nice I think <laughs> okay so this one is looking right very right nice and if you go here and this one is okay height is uh, width screen and content position is the center if you go here and here is the margin and padding for um the you know uh, pop up so we don't need these paddings and margins and if you make it oh you can make it 500 1500 or 1280 so this one is uh, you know the size of this okay so i have made it uh, you know perfectly so let's see uh, how this is looking and if you click on publish you don't need to add any condition just click save and close now we go back into our header for example so this one is the header where we're gonna add um, the this this off canvas menu so if I click here and click on header so we are going to edit the header here so here in the header we are going to you know functional make it the functional of this off canvas menu or we are going to place this off canvas menu in the header so let's see how we can do that so here you can see I already have uh, you know icon here so I just delete that icon and I just search here icon okay so here is the my many icons so here is the icon so from the icons list I just select this one as uh, the menu icon and here in this style um, you can see we can adjust the size okay for example this one is the size go back into the content and here uh, you can see in this option in this option you can see the dynamic tags just click on dynamic tags and here just need click on pop-up in the pop-up you just need to select open pop-up and here search for the pop-up that we have created off canvas menu you can see this one so whenever this one will be clicked this pop-up will be appear okay so just click on update on the home page the icon color is not looking right so I go back and here we make it the, the icon color um, to to the or bright or white because the background image is um, you know black okay so we refresh and here you can see this one is the icon so if we click here you can see this is looking very nice you can see um, this one is home about us contact us at booking so this one is the image that is looking so if we click here you can see this will be disappear so this uh, this the, the exit uh, you know animation is not good uh, the interest animation is good 
so we go back and here exit animation you can see the exit animation so in the exit animation we can say um, fade up or you can say fade down okay so we just make it update save and close and we refresh that and if we click here and you can see this one is a fade up and if we close it it will be fade down so this one is <laughs> looking very nice and uh, now we make it mobile responsive because see, everything uh, making mobile responsive is very necessary into the field of uh, web development so we go click here um, sorry here in the you no know, menu and here is the icon responsive mode and we open the responsive mode and here we click on the you know tablet view is looking i think okay and here is the mobile view so in the mobile view we don't need this um, photo because uh, this is uh, this will be very high okay so minimum height we make it zero and uh, in the you know advanced setting um, in the responsive on mobile it should be height because we don't need it on the mobile okay so here is the you know the icon or the close icon is uh, out of the you know uh, context so we go here in the settings advanced and uh, in the style uh, we go here in the close button and horizontal position should be like that and the mobile it should be like that you can see this one is here so just click on update save and close and uh, let me refresh this one and if you open this on mobile uh, desktop it's looking nice and if you inspect this element and uh, let's check on mobile so this one is the mobile view for the website and if you click here let's see this one is uh, the you know you can see you can see but this one is the scrollable because uh, we have set the height i think uh, very high so uh, we can set the height for this container um, uh, very low so here in the container we see minimum height is 750 so minimum height we don't need here so we make it zero so this one is the right or we may minimum height we can make it um, 500 so 500 will be okay so we refresh update that save and close and here we refresh again and inspect this and click on that sorry you can see there is no scroller on the right side so this is how you can create um, amazing off canvas menu for your website for your Alimentor website and for your Alimentor uh, very easily this is you know very easy and basic steps that you need to follow and you can easily create this kind of stunning uh, off canvas menu I hope you like this video and if you like this video please subscribe my channel and hit like, like button thank you